Hey bookwormers, Ninko in here. Welcome to the Hyperactive Bookworm. I am going to try this vlogging thing. Now, <laughs> been trying to figure out what it is and <clears throat> to be honest, I probably don't have it correct. But I really liked this idea of, of reading slowly and checking in with you guys um, as I read it and I I'm, I'm I won't be putting up the video until I finish the book so I can just edit all the pieces together I guess but the book I've decided to read is Poppy Jenkins by Claire Ashton so this book is actually one of the books in my Les Fiction book club on Facebook and I thought what better way to do it I've also found this cute little park right near my son's um, kindy and there's hardly anyone here every time I've come there's been hardly anyone so you might hear a bit of noise and stuff but it's really beautiful and I thought where would be the best place to start this so let's start all right so I've read the first chapter and now I've got to go pick up my son from kindy um, the scene setting is beautiful and we we know so much already and the introduction of this old friend perhaps lover who knows um of poppies rosalind is just brilliantly done and i can't wait to read more about the connection between the two and the history so yeah I'm at the park again, getting some more reading done. I haven't been able to get too much read over the last few days. Um, it's just been a bit crazy, but I finally got some time to myself, some reading time. So I thought, why not do it down at the park with a coffee, with this beautiful book and um, give you all an update. So I'm on page, yes, I've, I've, what do they call it? Earmarked? Earmarked? The corners? Whatever. I'm on page 50 and it's so great. It's middle of chapter 7, I think. And, oh, it's just so fantastic. There's, there's just so much in it. But it did make me think about the fact that readers actually bring, they bring their own knowledge, their own history, their own interests, their own personalities to a book. And there's a few things dropped in here and I'm wondering, I can't help but wonder if there's some kind of bigger mystery with them. Um, or if that's just me loving my, my dark sided um, writing and reading. <laughs> but it's just so beautiful. And the thing that I'm loving about it so far is just, it's an everyday story, an everyday character and it's just, you know, her going about her normal day. Poppy is this sweet, happy, well, maybe not happy, but contented little, you know, well, 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 she in. And, um, she's, she's really lovely, but I can't help but wonder what, what her interests are beyond the town I guess and I love the writing but I'm I'm still wanting to know more about Poppy I mean I feel like I'm already loving Rosalind you know this this bad girl that everyone just assumes is the bad influence and she you know she's more worldly than Poppy and I'm really loving the time the time slip too so that you know you're going back and forth between Poppy's childhood and her memories of Rosalind and then the town's reactions to Rosalind reappearing. Um, what, it must be, what, 16 years later or something like that anyway. And all the theories that are going around and all that stuff. And I can't help but wonder if, um, I mean, some of the some of the issues you can kind of see already happening the miscommunications and stuff because they aren't the friends that they were when they were younger, obviously. Um, there's been a lifetime between then and now. But I just, 
I wonder if it is what the most obvious reactions are. I mean, we're only seeing things from Poppy's point of view and, you know, <sighs> kind of makes me think, how can she be that oblivious to Rosalind's own reaction to her? But then at the same time, you know, from an outsider perspective, of course, it's always easier. Um, but I'm still really loving it. And it's just bringing up questions, which is the best part about a book. Um, I just want to know the answers. So Claire Ashton's done an amazing job. I mean, like I said, I'm only 50 pages in and it's, I think, just over 300 pages the book um about 350 pages um so I've still got a long way to go but I'm already intrigued and just absolutely loving the beauty of her words the way she describes things that's a dog barking because I'm out in nature in a park and you know there's houses somewhere back there um and the wind is blowing and it's beautiful. And it's just the perfect place to read Poppy Jenkins because it's just so, you can picture, you can picture the town and it's just adorable. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read more. So, but I've got a lot of questions. So that's really good. Like a, a book can be great, but you can't really pinpoint why it's great but so far this is just so good because I've got the questions and I'm curious and I just really hope that we find them all out all right well I'll go back to reading and I'll touch base with you all again soon Hey, so I still haven't finished it, but I just wanted to check in. I managed to get most of a day the other day being able to snuggle up in the winter weather and read a lot of it. And I'm nearly there, but just not quite. The plan was to finish it last night. Um, that didn't happen because we had a little, a little man who was very upset. So I ended up spending half the night up with him, hoping tonight I will get it done. I'm on page 300, no, not quite 300. Let's have a look. Oh, 282. So really there and oh my God, the frustrations are so well described. Um, and I'm just, I'm loving it, but feel it, it's resonating really um, strongly with me having grown up in a small town and the attitudes you cop and I definitely, definitely relate more to Rosalind. Um, and just the, the, there's a lot of prejudices that are shown and the frustrations of people willing to just go along um, with the, you know, status quo, not looking into the fact that things don't seem right. People not trusting their instincts that something's wrong. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, so fingers crossed I get to it tonight. I really want to finish it. I'm loving it. Um, getting to know more about Poppy and I think she's absolutely gorgeous and delightful, but I'm definitely more of a Rosalind kind of gal, I think. <laughs> I, I, I can't deal with injustices. They frustrate the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, so fingers crossed I get it finished tonight and... Yay! I'm loving it so far. Thank Hey everyone. Um, so I did it. I finished Poppy Jenkins by Claire Ashton. I I loved it overall. I really did. I'm ah, a little bit floating on having finally finished it. Um, I'm also just blown away by it. There are... A lot of things that throughout, um, I try not to spoil um, the book too much, but to really talk about it, I'm, I'm probably going to end up spoiling it a little bit. So this book is easily a four star. It'll probably end up being a 4.5 4 star for me in the end. Um, there's so much to treasure 
about this book. Now, for me personally, like I, I mentioned earlier, like readers bring their own their own lives to a book. So no one really ever reads a book the same. This is how I've read it. And having grown up in a small town, it hit home on so many aspects for me. I'm, I'm completely envious of Poppy, the acceptance and love, but then at the same time, she, she did frustrate me. Her complacency, um, her inability to believe that other people aren't as delicate and precious and honest as she is, um, made me kind of get frustrated with her kind of sheltered, sheltered existence. And then as you get to know more about her, you realize it's it's not necessarily that it's she truly does believe the best in people and you kind of understand more about why she is so heartfelt toward her town toward her people she's never had the backlash that Rosalind's had with pretty much anything um <clears throat> pardon me she she truly loves her town and I, I am envious of her because I wish I could go back to the town I grew up in and have such love for it. Um, unfortunately, it's not Wells. <laughs> but I did, I did love her. I love Claire's Ashton's, Claire Ashton's descriptions of the town and the small things, the everyday small things that are just beautiful. And there's something magical about appreciating the beauty around you. I love Rosalind. I think she's just a superstar. Um, she's she's this ice. I, I, I'm a bit of an ice queen fan. I love a good ice queen, and she is an ice queen. And even though she sort of melts, it's not it's not unrealistic. It. She's always had that niceness in her. It's just, she's never flaunted it. She's never needed to parade it. She just is who she is and she does what she wants. And I love her, her open honesty. It's, and the beauty between her and Poppy is that they do have, they both do have the same core values. They just approach and handle them completely polar opposites. But it is beautiful the way they balance each other out. Um, I have highlighted throughout the book. I have written notes. I have, you know, scrawled things in the margins. And that's always a good sign for whether I like a book. Now, this book is fabulous. But one thing that I haven't mentioned, though I've got it written throughout the book, almost every scene, this character's in, Besides Rosalind, my favourite character is actually Emma. I adore Emma. Emma is Poppy's mum. And when you first get introduced to her, she's this, you know, flying away, flitty, um, hippie artist. And, I mean, I love that. But as you read more, she's just so magnificent in her, her, in her presence. Um, she's not... She's not demanding the page, but the minute she steps on the page, for me, she's the one I pay attention to. So I really adore this character. Um, and it's, it's things like that that makes this book so good. Claire Ashton has done an incredibly marvellous job with all of her characters, not just Poppy and Rosalind, but all of the side characters. They're so rich and real and detailed you can imagine them having lives off the page. And that just, for me, that absolutely makes this book phenomenal. There's also an absolutely beautiful, beautiful way that Claire Ashton describes the town around her. Um, so this book is, I think I've mentioned it, I'm not sure. Um, it is only one point of view, which is, 
as you all know, my favorite. I love one point of view books. I love the not knowing, the having to try and figure out other characters' motives through their actions. Um, it's third person, so we get a little bit more, but we don't ever know anything that Poppy doesn't know. So that's, to me, that's fantastic. It makes me get more into the character's head. <coughs> I'm just so, I stayed up so late last night finishing this book, so <laughs> I'm, I'm shattered, but it was absolutely 100% worth it. And it ends magnificently and beautifully and... I don't think this is a spoiler because it is a romance so you get a happy ending that came out wrong but that's not what I meant um it's just divine and I highly recommend this book um absolutely 100% recommend this book I'm so glad I got the paperback of it because if I had read it on ebook, I would have ordered the paperback anyway, just so I can scroll in the notes and I can highlight things. But absolutely, Emma is just the most incredibly wonderful character to me. I did feel it a few times. I felt like, oh, the, the presence and absence of Poppy's father was noticeable to me. And I'm not sure if Claire Ashton meant that. But it would be interesting to find out. Um, and I did find it interesting, the parallels between Poppy's family and Rosalind's family. With the the with Poppy, you get Emma, the presence of Emma. But the father's there, but not really. Um, you don't really see her interact much with her father. He's, yeah, it, it, it's easy to forget sometimes that he's there well it was for me but then you get Rosalind whose father is ever present and the mother is sort of there but not there and I, I found that dynamic quite interesting too um but yeah overall 100% go read this book it is so beautiful and worth it it is such a lovely insight into small towns it hit home for me <laughs> I found it very realistic, um, though some of it I was, I was wishing I lived in Wells with the acceptance that Poppy got, um, but I found it just absolutely beautiful. It's one of the most amazing books, and I can't read, wait to read more Claire Ashton books. So get it, get it, get it, and yeah. So that was my first vlog, reading vlog. Um, I didn't put too much of my day-to-day -day life in there, which is probably an issue. But um, let me know what you guys think because I had lots and lots of fun of reading the book and doing um, catch-ups throughout. It made me really question and think about the book in a higher level. Well, not a higher level, just articulate, articulate it in the stops. And it was really fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and thanks so much for watching. Bye.